let it begin with me. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome here this afternoon. It's good to be with you for our first Christmas concert in Hartney. I'm Jim, as you know. This is my beautiful wife, Kate. Thank you. We are we're very happy to be here. Um, we, with this time of COVID, we really don't get to do many concerts. So we're uh, saying this is an incredible privilege to be able to be with you today. So as many of you know, we've sung here before. We will just tell you, yes, we are the Sandersons. However, over the last 20 years, we've been introduced by many different names, the Andersons, the Sanders, the Saunders. The Anders. <laughs> so we wrote a song to let you know who we really are. I wear the Sandersons, not the Andersons, not the Sanders. We're Jim and Kate Sanderson. We're the Sandersons. That's the name we take. Yes, we're the Sandersons. That's Jim and Kate. It's Christmas time. The time of cheer, snow lights and gifts, it's almost here. I bought you a gift, you did? Did you buy mine too? I'm not telling. It's Christmas time to spend with you. We're the Sanderson, not the Anderson. Not the Sanders, we're Jim and Kate Sanders, we're the Sanders, that's the name we take, yes we're the Sanders, that's Jim and Kate, we sing of God, unconditional love, he sent his son. From heaven above to die for you and me and take our ways. He washed our sins away. We rest our case with sands, not the ends, not the sanders, with Jim and Kate. That's Jim and Kate. It's Christmas time, the time of cheer. It's Christmas time, we're almost here. It's almost here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. While you get our bells out there, I'll tell you a cute story about these bells. So every Christmas time, we usually have between 30 and 40 Christmas concerts starting about November 15th. So we'd always go to our local Dollarama and we would buy some bells, 30 sets of bells, 25 sets of bells. And we would give them out wherever we went. Every concert we went, 55 plus, nursing homes, churches, wherever we would go. And every concert, we would see one or two people either slipping it into their purse or uh, into their pocket and then looking around and pretending they didn't do it. <laughs> By the time we got to our last concert before Christmas, there was no bells left except ours. <laughs> except our two. 
so now that we live in Elm Creek, we don't have any Dollarama, so we didn't buy any bells this year. So here is a bell song. You could pretend uh, this little sweetheart right here is pretending she has bells on her feet and she's just going. So <laughs> pretend you have bells in your hands. Here we go. Everybody likes to take a holiday. Everybody likes to take a rest. Spending time together with the family. Sharing lots of love and concerts before, uh, writes a lot of our songs for us. He wrote this next song, and uh, he does the beautiful guitar work on it and everything, and it just talks about all the different gifts at Christmas time. Now, if you're anything like us, buying gifts for our children and grandchildren is almost impossible. They have everything. And so it's really, really hard. And Ernie was thinking about this when he wrote this song. And it's called, What's Your Gift to God? And Ernie doing that beautiful guitar work. What's your gift to God? Oh, you have to 
a whole bunch of Christmas carols and we put them together but there was one song in there I wanted to put in there and you see all year round we sing an Irish Rover song in honor of Jim's Irish heritage so I told him a couple of years ago okay fine if we're going to do Irish Rovers 11 months of the year we're going to do a German song for one month at Christmas time. Now you have to remember, I made this vain attempt at teaching Jim High German. Now I haven't sung it since I was um, 16, 17 years old. And yes, that, that makes it 50 years ago. So here I am trying to remember how to say some of these words, teaching it to this English Irish men and so uh, tell them about the first time we ever sang it i thought i'd done a really good job of learning it you know and the first time we first concert we did and we sang o tannenbaum in the, this medley and after the concert her aunt martha had come to the concert so after the concert i went walking down there no that's martha now you didn't hear any of me irish slipping into that o tannenbaum song now did you she stood there for a second and said, no, I didn't, but to tell you the truth, I didn't hear any German either. <laughs> We're going to start with the way in major. Sight, 
So you can't see it out there, but there's a baby keeping time to the music. It's just the cutest thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's keeping time to the music. Do you want to talk about our grandmas? <laughs> I sure do. Kate wrote a song a few years ago about going to grandma's house at Christmas time. And the first time I saw the song, I was walk I'm not going to try to take away your thunder here, but I was walking through our house and she was sitting off to the side at the desk and she was writing. So I walked over and looked over her shoulder and I was impressed. I said, what are you doing writing a song about going to my grandma's at Christmas? She said, I'm not. I'm writing a song about my grandma. Now the memories that came out flooding off her page, the memories came flooding back to me about when I was a boy growing up in the town of Holland, Manitoba. And we get into dad's old Ford car that had that heater that didn't always work. And we'd go tumbling down the highway to Sanford, Manitoba, to my grandpa and grandma's house. I remember the smell of her fresh baking. She made a shortbread cookie that I'd die for. She had the biggest hugs. Grandpa decorated the tree with those bubble lights. Does anybody remember those bubble lights? And the joy of being with my cousins that I never saw all year. And of course, the gifts. So as I was writing, we realized we had the same memories. Uh, big grandma standing in the doorway waiting to give us big hugs and the smell of fresh baking. And you had uh, the shortbread cookies. Mm -hmm. We had those great big white Mennonite cookies oh. with colored icing and sprinkles on oh, top. Oh wow, that sounds so good. What do you call those? We call them the great big white Mennonite cookies with colored <laughs> icing and sprinkles on top. <laughs> for Jim, it was Holland, Manitoba. For me, it was Wingham, Manitoba, just outside of Elm Creek. And Grandma and Grandpa Schomburg lived in Winkler, Manitoba. We loved going to Grandma's house for Christmas. So I wrote a song honoring my Grandma Schomburg. <laughs> It's Grandma's home for Christmas With the family so large and dear There are cousins there and some uncles too That we hardly saw all year There were prayers as high as sight for sore eyes Lots of laughter you could hear We were on our way in the Grandma's day Each and every year So was it cold on that high? So cold, traveling down the road to Grandma's house each year. There were lots of toys, lots of noise with family from far and near. That was just the way we loved those days. Christmas comes but once a year. We were on our way, it was Grandma's day to a love we held so dear. It's Family so large and dear. There were cousins there, aunts and uncles too, that we hardly saw all year. There were presents by a sight for sore eyes, lots of laughter you could hear. We were on our way, it was Grandma's day, each and every year. Yeah, we've all grown up now. We've all grown up. Gone our own ways, traditions to make up our own. Our kids are gone, near and far, with families of their own. Now we're the ones who sit and wait for Christmas to come each year. There be gifts and toys and so much noise and loved ones we hold so dear. gift of all to be the way, the truth, and the life. And we thank you, Lord, that we can know that Grandma's home for Christmas this year. And Grandma's home for Christmas with the family so large and dear. 
There are cousins there and some uncles too that she hasn't seen in years. There are crowns of gold and gems so rare a sight to behold. Now Grandma lives with Jesus and walks the streets of gold. And Grandma's home for Christmas, a heavenly home for Christmas this Thank you. Angels sing, listen to what they say. That man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Trumpets sound and angels sing, listen to what they say. called The Least of These. We watched it last Christmas and it had such an impact. We just watched it a couple of weeks ago. And it's about a homeless mother with a little girl. I think she's about 10 years old. And they live in a, a car compound in an old car. And that's where they live year round. And she has a job in a coffee shop just kind of across the street. And that's how she makes the few pennies that she does make. It's a beautiful story about reaching out and loving those that are around you. About three songs from the end of that movie is this called That's Why We Call It Christmas. And just listen to the words. They are beautiful. And um, so it's called The Least of These. And this called it is, that's why they call it Christmas. The angel of the Lord appeared among the shepherds. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them. There is a story. From back in days of old, there was born a baby child, so tender, meek, and mild. They say he came from God above, sent down here to show us how to love our fellow man. That was the plan. That's why they call. It's all about the love we share Every day should be Christmas Show up someone that we care And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying destiny to give his life for you and me. He took all the shame for all our sin and shame. I'm so glad he set me free and all I have to do is to believe he was the one and so it's done. That's why they call it Christmas. 
called Joseph's Song, and theologically we don't know if it's exactly correct. It doesn't say in the Bible. We've read Luke 2 how many times, and nowhere does there be a section that says, this is how Joseph felt. But can you imagine an angel telling Joseph that he would be the earthly father of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now, I don't know about you, but we're usually the first, when God asks something of us, our first humanly instinct is to say, no, not us. We're not good enough to serve you. We're not good enough talented to go uh, minister for you. Pick somebody that's more, better suited at it. No. And I think this is how God was with Joseph. He's throwing a temper tantrum and he's saying, I'm just a carpenter. I can't do this. I just can't. You know what? Mary can just go and I will lead my sacred life. And there is that angel standing there and going, are you finished? <laughs> and finally, Joseph says, okay, what do you want me to do? Now, we're not sure what Joseph was thinking. And we didn't write this song, but here are some beautiful thoughts of what some of the things that maybe went through Joseph's mind. Father, show me where I fail. 
for all my life I've been a simple carpenter How can I raise a king? How can I raise a king? He looks so small His face and hands so fair And when he cries sun just seems to disappear and when he laughs it shines again how could it be Father show me where I fit into this plan of yours how can from my brother Ernie, um, wrote this song. They had a visiting pastor at their church and Ernie was back in the soundboard and as the pastor started preaching about, for the first, I don't know, two thirds of the sermon, he asked the people to pretend like there was no God. Okay, just pretend like there is no God and what that world might look like. And Ernie was so fascinated, he's starting to write everything uh, this gentleman is saying. And then the pastor turned it around and he said, okay, now that you have all those thoughts, for those of you who don't believe in God, now I'm going to introduce that there really is a God. And Ernie could hardly wait to get home from church. He said, I ran home and he said, I wrote down the song. And when he gave us this song, we just thought it was so wonderful. It's called, Who Could I Thank? And again, that's Ernie on that guitar one. Sometimes I wonder just what it would be. Those who walk upon the earth and really don't know why. If I didn't have my Jesus to guide me along the way, who could I thank now if Jesus I didn't know? If I didn't have my Jesus, world would seem so great if I didn't know his father to whom would I pray oh Lord please help all those who still don't know your way who could I thank them if Jesus I didn't know Christmas that comes 
think here? What if I didn't know he died for me on Calvary? Who could I talk to always each and every day? clouds up in the sky, the rain that falls upon my window pane from way up high. For the trees and all those beautiful flowers that color my world each day, who could I thank them if Jesus I didn't know? that comes each year What if I didn't know he died for me on Calvary Who could I talk to always each and every day Who could I thank them if Jesus I didn't know Says I didn't know. You know, we have we have never done this. Jim doesn't even know we're gonna do that. Would you do Let There Be Peace on Earth again? I don't know, somehow these words just keep running through my head. And a little voice saying, you know what, you need to do that song again. And this time we're going to listen with new ears. Just listen to what the world would be like after that song. What the world would be like if there was peace. And let it begin. Thank you so very, very much. We've had a great time tonight. <laughs> we want to thank you for inviting us. We want to thank you for being, letting us be part of this. And we want to just leave you with the thought, please remember the reason for the season is Jesus. And this next song, I have to put my Christmas hat on for. You do. Yeah. 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 And from so our home to yours, Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you wherever you are. Good tidings for Christmas. And a happy new year We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas And a happy new year Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone